Hey, aloha, and how you doing? Welcome to Ibaji Talk. Gordon the Tech Star here. And what's your name again? <laughs> Andrew, Andrew the, the security, security guy. guy. If you guys back, have been following us, guys. like, I don't know. I mean, I'm co-hosting your regular show more than That's day show. Are. Oh, whatever. But I tell you, well, nice to have you back. I'm glad to be here, brother. I miss you, I man. I miss this studio. Look at how long my beard has gotten since you've been gone away. I mean, it's starting to look a little Angus-like. Yeah, keep going and all down to my knees. Anyway, <laughs> please grab yourself a libation, pull up a chair, and join us. We have Heather pa Heather Patterson. I want to say Heather like my father would say it. I just love that name. <laughs> Heather, Heather, you're yeah, yeah, sweet lady, lass. <laughs> anyway, we've got Heather here. And she, she's laughing already. And she's... um. We're going to talk about happy, happier staffing. Yeah. And you are the uh, chief happiness officer, first one I've ever met. I love that title. <laughs> never met one before at Happier Talent Development, which is kind of cool. Yeah. I kind of like that. It's kind of ready. Because if you're going to develop talent, you might as well be. Well, That's true. right. Yes, I agree. So anyway, we always ask, I'm trying to figure what this is going on here, but it's not playing. Anyway, um, we always ask our guests where you're from. All right. Where you went to school. Yeah. Let okay. Give us a little history. All right. give, us a, give us your background. How much as you want to share? Yeah, sure. Um, well, I'm originally from Maryland, from the East Coast, Maryland. Um, very much country girl. Like my house, corn, hay, you know, like just cows everywhere. Country girl. Perfect. Um, and as a teenager, we relocated to the Midwest. So I lived in Nebraska, and then I moved out to the mountains to Denver. From there, I moved on to Alaska. Wow. And finally, I arrived where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> yes. Which Hawaii. is where? Detroit? Here. <laughs> I'm oh, here. the happy. This is the rainbow. Oh, the place. happy place. Right. 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 My happy place, Hawaii. So I, I, um, I came to Hawaii eight years ago. Okay. Um, oh, wow. It was partly professional, partly personal. Um, but yeah, that was eight years ago. And I have landed. I'm where I want to be and awesome. where I need to be. Yeah. Having awesome. me from the East Coast, and especially in January, February is not a bad place to be it's here. <laughs> yeah. well, especially coming from Alaska. There's a lot of Hawaii people in Alaska, though. Yeah. I've met a lot of folks from, it's kind of weird that we go back and forth, but... Where in the world haven't you been in the past two weeks? Really, I, I, <laughs> two months? I'm telling you, what I do know is this, and i got to agree with Heather, this is the very best place in the country to come home to. Yeah. I, oh. And I've been gone a lot. I know, you've been gone a lot. Every time I touch down on that runway up there, That's, you I'm know, glad to be here. Angus and I have been pulling the load, just so you know. You All always right. big time. He, says he wanted to gripe a little. You know that <laughs> happy yeah, training. I know. Yeah. Well, my outlook was down this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just, oh, really oh, crazy. Let's get in, so, let's get in a joke. Yeah, so that's some good questions we can ask. But before we do that, <laughs> okay. and I'm not going to rant today, but I want to give an alert because I've been doing a number of shows on cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. I saw that. Thank you. So and so. And um, I've got some lectures to do around town. I've been invited to talk on that. But I want to give some people a heads up because I keep saying it's your money and you decide whether you want to get in or not. Just like anything that's new, that's new there are scams out there. Ah. So you've got to watch for scam artists, Ponzi schemes, people selling fake Bitcoin mm. there, uh, or cryptocurrencies. So they're out there. If you just go and Google it or Bing it, you can just search, search cryptocurrency scams. That will give you a heads up. Heads up. Ah, like I said awesome. to everybody, you get to educate yourself before you get into this. It's like stocks or bonds or anything. You have to do it. You can see SEC's filed some lawsuits against some major not some major pe individuals for doing some Ponzi schemes, um, a whole bunch of stuff out there. So wow. again, if it sounds too good to be true, it, it is. <laughs> it is. It probably it will is. not make you happy. It will not make you it will not make you happy. <laughs> but mind you, Bitcoin trading at twenty three hundred bucks. Bitcoin is and gone Ethereum dessert. trading at two hundred and thirty See the smile on my face. Yeah, I'm a happy guy. And uh, Ripple's now gone up to 27 cents. And that's not the rum. That's or the mm. the cheap the wine. wine. That's right. the good <laughs> stuff. Okay, enough for me. Enough for me. Now let's let's talk about you. So tell us yeah. about how would you how do you create a happiness thing? <laughs> yeah, right. Th that's the question, right? How do we do this? How do I make my people happy? Yeah. That sort of thing. A lot of focus on the millennials, of course. That was going to be one of my questions. I knew it. I knew it would be. <laughs> uh, well, it really starts with the leader. I mean, that's where the tone is set, is at sure. the leadership. So the leader absolutely has to be bought in first and foremost. And a lot of people will think, well, you know, do I have to have like a, an employee gym? and a cafeteria and a ping pong table and really beautiful furniture and you know salaries galore and mm. things like that and the very quick answer is no right that, that, those things are satisfaction and they're also sort of fleeting they're they sort of play to the fact that we're always going to want more and more and more and more of oh. these tangibles okay right? 
So it's really about small daily activities, daily things that we do. It's not something that we just like give and hand over, right? It's the things that we do. So it's saying good morning. I mean, really and truly. With like, a smile. With a smile. With your head out of your phone and <gasps> engaging. Good morning, Gordon. Oh, wow. Yeah, hey, right, hi. right, right, exactly. <laughs> so things like that, giving a genuine and sincere compliment, um, solving problems. Right? People talk a lot about burnout and stress and things like that in the workplace. It's because they're not making progress to the problems. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're stuck. Think mm -hmm. about that. Burnout is when you're stuck in the hole. And uh, IT the wheels people, just keep spinning. And yeah. IT people, for the most part, are just like that. They keep all their cards close to the chest. They only solve the problem when they can get a pat on the back, but they don't solve the entire problem. And yeah. I think it's just a cultural thing that's happened over the decades. Yeah. And that's one of my issues with tech people is that you girls and guys don't share. Don't share. Yeah. You feel like it's the way, okay, that's how I'm going to hold myself and yeah. higher esteem and make me happier. Yeah. Yeah. No, and, and I'm so glad that you brought that up because for this audience especially, there's people who are, are changing that. So, for instance, this uh, past October, I was in New York City and I visited a company called Next Jump. Have you heard of Next Jump? Next Jump. Oh, please, it's got nothing to do with people jumping off buildings. No, <laughs> no, no, no. But they're a, they're, a, um, they're a firm that does like back office for employee benefits type of platform oh, okay. Okay. Uh, incentive programs. But they're, they're really like what they do doesn't matter so much as who they are internally. And so they have a, a um, ritual, if you will, of talking about their mistakes regularly like it is scheduled and intentional because there's so many developers mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they're going to make mistakes yeah. right sure. but they're trying to be solution oriented and really say hey the mistake doesn't matter what matters is that you tried and that means you did something you did something you tried you went for it and then it makes it really safe for other people to try yeah. Uh, as well. Yeah, right? I tell people you, you learn by trial and error, not by trial and write. Yeah. It's trial and error. <laughs> and the more errors you make, that means the more you're trying. Now, if you yeah. keep making the same error over and over again, then you need to talk to yourself. Yeah, that's called insanity, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> right? yeah. I, saw some, I saw a presentation by a guy recently who talked about this um, learning velocity, which really occurs out there when you're outside of your comfort zone probably close to failing on at things because they're difficult you're learning at a much faster rate yeah. than if you're kind of doing the same thing all the time so absolutely part of, part of you know advancing is getting out there and failing so and that's got to be recognized as a, as, as a way to be happy totally because you made the effort right and totally you trying yeah. new things getting results so it really boils down people ask me this all the time like well like what is the nuts and bolts nuts and bolts are results and relationships okay I'm getting results at work. I'm making progress. I'm I'm learning and growing in the in my output, and then I have really great relationships. Not like fun necessarily, but close connection, belonging. Mm -hmm. It could be fun. That's a nice you know outcome. Right. But where it's safe and people are vulnerable and there's trust. Mm -hmm. Well, how many people do you see that are in their occupations that are not happy? Oh. Well, I mean, the numbers say, you know, yeah. in terms well, so of disengagement, it's yeah. like 70%. So 70%. <laughs> Seven out of 10 that walk in the door every day right. just aren't, aren't there to, to have fun. They're, they're just, not there to enjoy They're there their day. for they're, what they're getting. They're getting paid, and they're doing the job, and they're it's slowly, maturely uh, uh, drifting uh, away. Oh, from it their sounds like a former government occupation I used to have. <laughs> In government, do you get much engagement from local government? That'd be a nice Heck place to no. spread some Are you kidding? Happiness. Give the union a shaka. Hey, <laughs> yeah. good. You know, I had someone text me um, not long ago with a headline, oh, this place says really low morale was a state organization. And I responded, yes, they probably do need our work. I yeah. love an introduction. You know, it really depends on the leader, like I said, right. the leader, and are you ready? And are you going to put in the work and put in the time? Right. So um, if people are change makers in those organizations, yeah, I'd love to talk to them. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah. So at 70%, this must be a new industry within the business industry or in within whatever, yes. not even business, but even manufacturing or whatever. It has to be not yeah. even, when I was growing up, I never had a happiness coach. I never had someone come in. Now I was the class clown, so it didn't matter. Maybe but it was you. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, others, but others, you know, I've never said, well, let's go make this place 
yeah. fun. I try, but be nice now. Know he was a happiness coach. I can call. Right. Yeah. I think it's getting more and more attention. I mean, with the changing of the of the workforce and the way that we do mm -hmm. business, and sort of the world is getting smaller and smaller. People are looking for well, what is my differentiator? Mm -hmm. And it comes down to the people. Mm -hmm. And how do I feel when I'm interacting with your business? Do but I feel is good? This a, is this a millennial thing? Is it like? Is it just? Is it just a millennial I thing? Think it's for everyone. Oh, personally, I personally, yeah. it's hard. Is it, it's hard is for it, the old guard it, to learn. Is it? You know, as a boomer who brought up the, the generation to take responsibility for whatever mm -hmm. we have, because mm -hmm. um, they didn't want we didn't want them to have what we had. Yeah. Um, I mean, is, is it? Are you getting? You're not getting calls from the old fuzz. You're getting calls from the millennials. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. There are some uh, more traditional or boomer leaders who are going, hey, I recognize that what I have mm -hmm. is not working. So one of my best success stories is actually someone who is a boomer here in, in Honolulu, uh, has been in his industry, real estate industry, for a long time. And he was like, Mm, I'm sort of skeptical of this, <laughs> uh, which I don't blame him. You know, I understand. Like you've been, in, you've been in the workforce a long time. Like I, I honor that. And you're right? successful. And you're successful. And he's sort of like, what are you going to teach me? And after a few <laughs> right. sessions, I like that. yeah, after a few <laughs> sessions, we, um, I was able to give him really practical, and that's what I pride myself on. Real practical, you know, recommendations for these adjustments in his behavior, his communication. And then we work together with the team to build to build the relationship and help them get more results. Sure. And and he's a raving fan now. Oh, is he? That's awesome. Yeah. Oh. In, so I know we're going to jump to a break in a minute, but no, is, no, is, yeah, is, we is your something. background in psych, or how did you how did you end up? Mm. You have psychology and just the education piece. Great. I was wondering. Yeah, great question. Uh, I have a degree from HPU in okay. human resources. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So this and, should be a component of every HR package. You would think happiness coaching. But I know a lot of HR. Chiefs, individuals who are not happy people. Oh, they, they, wow. they come across, and if you look at Dilbert, it's the evil <laughs> HR person, yeah. right? So you go to Dilbert, it's the evil HR person. Most people think the person in charge of HR is not happy. Yeah, That's, you know, why is she so grumpy? Yeah. You know, oh, why are wow. they the police? Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, uh, no, I, I understand that, and there's a lot of rules and regulations. Uh, just uh, a week, uh, two weeks ago now, I did a presentation with the Torkelson Law Firm. Okay. And, you know, we have differing um, ideas on, our topic was handling political tension. Ah, <laughs> right? nice. And so, oh, law firm, that, not that. a problem yeah. at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and so the lawyer saying, you know, don't engage in conversation and keep it safe. And, and that's, that is one perspective. My perspective is engage. Ask them how things have changed for them. What, how can you be a supportive employer? There's, a, there's more risk in that, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. But if we want to have really strong relationships, be happy, we might have to have some risk. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Well, let, let's hold that. One that minute. Pause. We're going to go take Pay a some break. Bills. Do you have a security minute when we come back? Yeah. Angus isn't here. I got you. He's off doing whatever he wants to do. So Let's make it happen. Uh, make it happen. We'll take a break. We'll pay some bills. Be happy, and we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> You're watching ThinkTech on ThinkTechHawaii.com, which broadcasts five live talk shows from noon to 5 p.m. every weekday, and then streams our earlier shows all night long. Great content for Hawaii from ThinkTech. Hi, I'm Carol Cox. I'm the new host of Eyes on Hawaii. Make sure you stay in the know on Hawaii. Join us on Tuesdays at 12 noon. We will see you then. Aloha. Aloha. My name is Stephen Philip Katz. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I'm the host of Shrink Wrap Hawaii, where I talk to other shrinks. Did you ever want to get your head shrunk? Well, this is the best place to come to pick one. I've been doing this. We must have 60 shows with a whole bunch of shrinks that you can look at. I'm here on Tuesdays at 3 o'clock every other Tuesday. I hope you are too. Aloha. And you're live. Aloha. And how are you doing? This is Gordo, <laughs> the, Gordo the security guy. This is Gordo the tech star here, and I'm here with my good old buddy, Andrew the security guy. Do you have a security moment? I got a moment? quick happiness security minute for okay. all your employers out there. Listen, I go all around town, and all your doors are unlocked, and bad guys can just walk in. So I got an idea for happiness. Put some access control on those doors. Keep your employees a little safer. A little safer, you know. Unless safer. you're in retail, I understand. If you're not in retail, your front door really shouldn't be open to the public. So give it a thought. Keep your employees happy. Keep them safe. 
That's my security minute. All right, awesome. So we're here with Heather. Heather yeah, Heather. we're all about Heather. I can't say today. Heather without the Scottish accent. <laughs> That's right. We're here with Heather. Heather, Heather <laughs> Patterson. And we're here with this wee lass, and we're going to be talking. It's a great Scottish name, you know. I like it. Yeah, Heather, I like it's, really, you it's really beautiful on the hills. It's oh, awesome. Yeah. Anyway, I've been accused of flirting with the uh, oh, with the guests, mm, and guess perfect. what? Nothing's changed. <laughs> anyway, we got a tweet. So it says, it, it, ask Heather which happiness skills are hardest to teach. Ooh. Which happiness skills are hardest to teach? Mm. Some, what the heck is a some, happiness skill? Yeah, yeah. you got to practice being happy. It's all about <laughs> optimism and outlook and stuff. Yeah, optimism, I'm sure. outlook. Uh, How do you teach that? I, yeah. I'm happy every day. Of course. How can you, uh, are some people are not happy every day. Right. No, right. People actually have a happiness set point. Okay. Oh, yeah, I so there it. is some biology that has ah. to do with this and circumstances, but a lot of it we can change. Okay. And there's skills that we can do and, and habits that we can create that help us be happier. Like, for, exa for example, Oops. practicing gratitude okay. is, mm -hmm. is a habit that we can in, in, in our, incorporate into our days, our weeks, uh, that will help us be happier. Sure. Uh, I don't teach that a whole yeah. lot it comes up from uh, time to time and i'll work with that with especially functioning teams and functioning people it's like mm -hmm. oh build a fence around the thing that's really good make sure that you're expressing gratitude oh, yeah well i like first to you know we're, we're first to complain and last to compliment yeah all the time no and that's negativity bias this is all science uh, okay this is science See, and i don't know this stuff no right and that's what makes it so <laughs> exciting because people sort of think like oh it's like la la you know like kind of airy fairy yeah and it's just not you know th there's research from harvard and stanford and berkeley all of these ivy league schools going this is a real thing and it can make a real difference in yeah. your workplace yeah connectivity especially in it because we and even people are just like you mentioned out there on their phones all the time mm -hmm. we're, we're disconnected there's no real joy in any of that there's none yeah. it comes yeah. from people it yeah. comes from contact and we are craving it more and more i think that's why i was, I was watching this movie about the uh, Spartan races and all those guys, right? And they're they're saying they're all coming out in droves because they get to do something together mm -hmm. on the weekend. Yeah, you know, because all week we're just getting further and further, further apart. apart. Technology's kind of yeah. So I think I think it's timely to be teaching happiness in the workplace. Yeah. I really do. So to get back to the question, though, yeah, yeah the hardest to teach. Hard. There's two that immediately come to mind. Okay. The first being empathy. Mm. Empathy, not builds, sympathy, not empathy, sympathy, right. empathy. empathy, and it's sort of like you know what that is or you don't, and trying to explain it can be a real challenge. I rely heavily on another researcher, her name is Brené Brown, okay. to help me introduce this concept to people. There's a, a beautiful video that she has on mm -hmm. YouTube that's animated and, and it makes it, it uses cartoons to help you know mm -hmm. explain the concept and so depersonalizes it and go and you can you can really see empathy for what yeah, it it's is. hard to take the time when someone's explaining some pain to try to get in that pain with them or get yeah. in the joy with them or you know be there with them be in that, there right with so them it's difficult yeah it, that can be really a, a challenge to to teach but it's it's critical yeah, it's for it building like, relationships. So, can you, you know, would a suggestion be the, you know, when you first thing you need to get up in the morning is try to find something that's going to make you laugh at the beginning of the day. Find, you know, maybe not listening to the bad news and just go, you know, or the no news yeah. or whatever it is. Just find something. To, I always wake up in the morning and look at how bizarre I look and laugh, and then that's all. <laughs> then it's next to go. <laughs> but you know, just like it's like trying to find something that will just make a joke of the day or something. A joke Does that of work? the day, a um, inspirational quote. I mean, there's a lot of work out there already about your morning ritual, and that it should be something that feeds your your body and your mind and your spirit, right? Um, so yeah, if, whether it's you know b being grateful, something funny. I would say stay away from social media and the news. Yeah, I you mean, know, it's, it's like I, since I've stopped watching mainstream news for the past two months, I've been the happiest in my yes. entire life. See? <laughs> See? Like, and everybody goes, have you heard about And I know, I don't want to hear about it. This is impacting my life directly, you know, right. immediately. And I'm, let's me have some more fun with what's going on with the rest of this yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not a news watcher. And I sometimes feel silly, you know, when I can't respond. But it's a way of protecting my 
Yeah. My happiness. But you're not putting yeah. yourself in a false awesome. bubble. 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 That's a good word. <laughs> bubble. Yeah. That's a good word. Bubble. Let's check it up. Wikipedia. Yeah. Um, so let's, you know, let, you know you don't put yourself in a false bubble. Right. Now. You can't. Right. right. I know that there's terrible things happening yeah. out there. Um, but how much I let that in and I dwell on it, it it's very limited. So what do you? Yeah. So what? What are what are the kinds of things that um, um, organizations should be doing? But in addition to contacting you, obviously, but you know, to 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 move in this way. Right. To move in this way. So at, at the workplace level, because it is a little bit different from from life right. to right. Uh, workplace, but in the same sense. So just building off of waking up in the morning. I mean the the equivalent of that at work is showing up to work. That's why I mentioned like say good morning, yeah. you know, or if you are starting a meeting. Start the meeting with good news. Yep. You no, know? No. And it could be personal, it could be professional. But instead of just launching in, like start it with something positive or an inspirational quote. Okay. That's, I'm where, not Christine, gonna... that's where Christine learned that. All yeah. of our meetings start that way. Everybody has to share some good news. So maybe no more rants at the beginning of the show. But well, I was it, like, maybe at the end. I'm or, doing, yeah. or we could do positive rants. Okay. Okay, they cut the if grass we can, this week. If we can find it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find something positive every should should rant about. It. Yeah, okay. Oh, then see, it it's probably, it's probably not called called a rant. Yeah, we got to find the pot yeah, the uh, reverse uh, of rant. The antonym of rant. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. antonym. Well, see, big shout out. This is a, a shout, a shout out. out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we're changing. See, we're changing the theme of the show. The I love it. We're changing our culture yeah, right yeah, before right your very eyes. So, so tell us, like, I mean, you know, we got a little bit of time, but not yeah, much. So, um, go ahead. I was going to talk about her events. So, if yeah, you want right, to, I love events. the topic of this one. So, on June 11th, she's given a class about how to have a successful, tough conversation. Now, now, think about that. Who goes into a tough conversation? Who, you know, thinking about having to be successful? I love that concept. Yeah. So give us some. Give us a, a bit. Sell it a little. Th thanks, thanks, Andrew. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be at Happiness University. Okay. Um, that's with Alice <laughs> Noy <laughs> down in at Salt, uh, Kakaako. Okay. It's a one-hour class, 1:30 to 2:30, and we're going to break down how to structure a tough conversation so that you come out on the other end feeling good. Is this like? We got to let you go this week, or it could be. It could, oh, I have some. I have some clients. <laughs> it could I, would, be. I have some clients. I would love to get them to go, but they won't move. That's oh, the, that's yeah. my challenge. Buy them a ticket. I'll okay. buy them the it's ticket. Cheap. I'll drive them and drop them off, and yeah. they still, oh, they'll, they'll still them. come up with a reason Attend why they can't go. Yeah. That's what drives me crazy. We right. have to and share these. So you have to be open. Yeah. You have to yeah. be yeah. open, right? right? Sure. But you can you can share. You can you know that's one of the things about the um the weekly videos that I have is that's a nice way to say. Like oh, I, look at what I found, and you share it, and yep. and you know people will learn through osmosis a oh, yeah. bit. Um, but yeah, a lot of people don't realize some of the th things that we work on to get happier are actually more challenging. It's getting through conflict, having the tough conversation, sort of clearing. Uh, so that's what. The, the talk on the 11th is all oh, about. So, yeah. so it's about yeah. what, an hour and a half? An hour. An hour? An hour. An hour we at, stick very much to schedule. At what time? One thirty. So, so you can make, take a late lunch. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. I think it's on a Sunday or Monday. Sunday. It's on a Sunday. So it's Sunday. Sunday so Sunday afternoon. Afternoon. Go down, learn how to be happy. Come, go down yeah. to Salt and Kakaako and, and then go over to Alamona Beach or go to Alamona Shopping Center after yeah. that with a smile on your face and buy yourself yeah. a shirt. You know, whatever yeah. you want. Mokus or yeah. bubble tea. There's bubble so tea. many cool little shops. Yeah, there you can anyway. go and buy ties. And there's that. There's that too. So okay. Yeah. So um. So what, how do go ahead? What else do you have going on? Uh, let's see. I'm going to be speaking at the Professional Women's Network awesome. on Thursday, the 22nd. Okay. And I'm also uh, seeking one-on-one -on -one coaching oh, okay. um, pro uh, pro program participants. So I have a, a program where we collect feedback. So some, they rate themselves and then the people around them at work rate them, give them feedback on leadership and happiness competencies. And then we work through their strengths and, and their weaknesses, their nice. opportunities, and help them grow and become more effective through the inside out. Yeah. Now, do you have staff? Do you have an employee base? Or are you a sole proprietor and you're the just one person? Me, just, just me. I know. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs> no, it's definitely time to uh, consider adding. You know, it's a lot to take on. And then, yeah, when you start having the, yeah. the employees and all the, the burden of that, it becomes a whole other issue. But yeah. it's still great. You can 1099 them or dump them. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> see, it made you happy. <laughs> okay, yeah. so... Um, 
Lots of clients in town? Lots of clients in town all, and ranging in all different industries. Um, it's really been a lot of fun for me. That's one of the things that I love about my work is I get to, you know, real estate, a plumbing company, a hair salon, a mortgage, you know, it's just... It's, hair salon, careful. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hair. They, he he ain't had any in a long here. time. Don't I went to the beard. barber today. You're not going to believe me. It cost me $15.26. <laughs> I got my beard trimmed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it was nice You're just sharing it. a little happiness. It's been 25 years I sat in a, haven't sat in a barber's chair. Um, so um, how, do they, how do people find you? How do, we, how do we know where to get a hold of you? Yeah, sure. Probably the best way is to go to my website. Okay. So uh, happiertd, as in talent development, happiertd.com. Or touchdown. Or, t or touchdown. Yeah. yeah. Talent Happy. development. I love it. Happiertd.com. Do, do you get, um, do you engage staff without ownership or do you kind of require that ownership buys in first? Because, you know, there's a lot of value in the leadership, yeah. you know, it doesn't really work without them, right? Yeah, I mean, I haven't had to do it, but okay. if I had a leader who was like, you fix them, I'm I'm good. Yeah, right. I think oh, I yeah. might say, you know, I, I'm not sure this is the right fit. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. really important to me. Yeah, yeah, I have one client that um, they're constantly laughing. I mean, they just, you know, then they're laughing at their mistakes. And yeah, oh, good. One of the beauties I love about it is when they find things that are not going right or whatever, they start laughing and figure out ways to, you know, solve the tension yes. and then, then they start moving forward and oh, there's a woman that seems to be leading that all the time and getting everybody laughing oh that's awesome so it's really kind of cool. that's isn't good. it interesting how some of some of the great organizations i run into in town are led by women who are seem to be better at this than a lot of the guys who just want to just fix it and just yeah. hit it with a bat and that's it. we have yeah. a different style yeah that yeah. can i don't I think know why that gender, is but. you just want to i think i mean i'm no gender expert but i think you just inclined to just fix it instead of explore it and get the hunter gatherer is get yeah. it over with and we're going to move on yeah. and speaking of that yeah we've burned up 28 minutes oh, already Can all right. so we got to continue this conversation it's very cool oh yeah heather at happiertd.com that's right um happiness you i love it this is uh, a great university um, um, and your adventure. website is excellent so um, i went and checked it out today oh, thank you and, and thanks for um uh, accepting my uh polk or uh, Oh, um, oh. Whatever it was on, on not oh, whatever I did on at LinkedIn this morning. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. That <laughs> when I was awesome. cranky. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, anyway. So, no guest goes oh. unrewarded. You get our happy cup, a solo cup. That is the happiest cup. That is the happiest cup door. in the world. 119 in the series. So, don't Thank ever lose you. that puppy. So, anyway, it's like we say at the end of every show, and this is how we usually close them out one, two, three. How, how are you, you doing? doing?